To begin, click on Devices, and we're going to add a device. This will be a virtual device. And we are going to select a virtual garage door controller. And you can assign it to a room if you want. And I'm going to actually name this if this and that garage door and save the device. Now I do also want to put this on my dashboard. So to do that, go to apps, dashboard, and we'll also have to add that device to the list and click on update and click on done. Head over to your dashboard and there's a nice little spot for it right here. So that's where we're gonna plop it. There's the crash door and we're gonna make it a crash control and add the tile. And we're gonna change the height by one here. There we go. So there's our button on the hub attack, but now we're gonna to have to connect it so it works with Maros. So to do that, we're gonna head over to apps and we're gonna to need to integrate our if this then that. This is kind of our link between Maros and Habitat. The reason we have to use if this then that for the garage door is because Maros generates a new key for the garage door controller every time that it's clicked. So we're using if this then that to uh, integrate. So click on the if this then that integration and now we're gonna select the device we just created. Click on update and click on done. Perfect, now we have that set up in here. Now we just have to go to if this and that and tell it what we want it to do. If you don't already have a controller on your garage door and you would like to set this up, I'll leave a link up top uh, with how I set up this Maros controller on the garage door. Next up, we're gonna head to if this then that, create an account and tell it what we want it to do. So uh, to get started here, I'm just gonna log in with my Google. an account and we're going to create an app and we want the habitat to control so if the device opens we're going to connect that and it's going to ask you for your habitat login information select your house and we're going to select that garage door controller and authorize. Create the trigger. Now if that device opens, then we want it to go to our Maros. Now this may on yours, if you haven't used this before, you might have to take and uh, log into your Maros account as well, just so that if this and that knows where to uh, communicate. Head down here to open garage. Click on connect. Oh, here we go. Enter your details and click authorize. Create action. Continue. And finish. So we're gonna have to do the same thing for closing the garage door. So let's go back. And create another applet. If this Back to Habitat here. Device closes. Garage door is default selected. And go to the Maros. And close the garage. Create action. Continue. And finish. Now if you click on my applets at the top, Maybe later, we should see the two. If garage door closes, then close garage. If garage door opens, then open garage. And that is set. All right, now that it's all set up, there's nothing left to do but try it out. So I'll head on out to the garage and let's uh, give it a go.
As you can see, the delay isn't totally perfect. Uh, there is about a 10 second delay and the downside to doing this is uh, the signal has to go from whatever device you connect through the Wi-Fi, the internet, Mirass, Mirass talks to IFTT, then it talks to your habitat. So, so if the internet uh, or the Wi-Fi in your house happens to be down, it's not going to work. But for the most part, it's better than nothing.